Parkland shooting hero speaks at for first time and sets records straight about Hogg, he knew. You won't be hearing much about this on the left-wing media but a student who was gravely wounded while saving his classmates when he blocked a door shut during the Parkland school massacre said that the real people to blame for this shooting aren't the NRA and patriotic Americans. It's Sheriff Israel and the school superintendent who failed everyone who was killed or injured by allowing the shooter to attend the school and not arresting him before the attack even though they had gone out to his home 39 times in 7 years. Because he is still too weak to talk, 15-year-old Anthony Borges attorney read an on his behalf during the news conference which went on to criticize Broward County Sheriff Scott Israel and Superintendent Robert Runcie for the February 14 mass shooting at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland that left 17 people dead and many like himself injured. Borges was shot a total of five times and suffered wounds to his lungs, abdomen, and legs. He was the last of the 17 who were injured to be released from the hospital. More on the statement via Fox News. Borges attorney read a statement from the team during a news conference criticizing Broward County Sheriff Scott Israel and Superintendent Robert Runcie for the massacre. Borges, too weak to talk, sat silently in a wheelchair with his right leg propped up. His statement specifically attacked the Promise program a school district and sheriff office initiative that allows students who commit minor crimes on campus to avoid arrest if they complete rehabilitation. Runcie has said Cruz, a former Stoneman Douglas student, was never in the program, but Borges and his attorney, Alex Ariza, said school and sheriff's officials knew Cruz was dangerous. Deputies received at least a dozen calls about Cruz, 19 over the years and he spent two years in a school for children with emotional and disciplinary problems before being allowed to transfer to Stoneman Douglas. Last year, records show he was forced to leave after incidents, other students said he abused an ex-girlfriend and fought her new boyfriend. Weeks before the shooting, both the FBI and the sheriff's office received calls saying Cruz could become a school shooter but neither took action. Runcie and Israel failed as students teachers and parents alike on so many levels, Ariza Reed for Burgess, who sat next to his father, Roger. I want all of us to move forward to end the environment that allowed people like Nicholas Cruz to fall through the cracks. You knew he was a problem years ago and you did nothing. He should have never been in school with us. Ariza said that although Borges' father, a maintenance worker, appreciates that people consider his son a hero for protecting classmates. He believes such talk detracts from the serious message that action must be taken to stop school shootings. He doesn't want there to be any more bubblegum hero stuff, Ariza said. Many of the school shootings survivors have spoken out against gun violence and called on lawmakers for stricter gun control in order to prevent future tragedies. Borges visited his high school for the first time since the massacre but said he is scared to return for classes fearing more violence. Borges, whose father is a maintenance worker, came from Venezuela three years ago was a boy scout and is known for his soccer skills. Before the shooting, he was even playing as a forward and training with FC Barcelona's youth academy near Fort Lauderdale. Glad to see we finally have at least one student calling it like it is. This shooting wasn't the fault of the NRA or gun owners. It was the fault of the Broward Sheriff's Department and the FBI, who both knew very well that the shooter is a very disturbed individual but neither did anything about it. In fact, many of the students knew who the shooter was the moment the massacre began. More on this hero via Reuters. Barcelona players have paid tribute to a wounded victim of last month's Florida high school shooting by sending him a signed shirt while the Spanish soccer club has invited him to meet the team and publicized a crowdfunding campaign to aid his recovery. Anthony Burgess, who spent time at Barca's Youth Academy in Fort Lauderdale in 2016, was left paralyzed by injuries sustained during the attack inside Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland where gunmen killed 14 students and three teachers. Anthony Burgess, has received a club shirt signed by the first team players this week. And it's a gesture that he most certainly deserves. For the 15-year-old of Venezuelan origin is a true hero, Barca said in a statement. 
the club hailed the 15-year-old's actions in helping 20 classmates take refuge during the shooting, receiving five bullet wounds to his back and limbs in the process. Thanks to his gallantry the death toll, horrific as it already is, was not much higher, Barca said. One of Anthony's greatest dreams has always been to travel to Barcelona and meet the first team. And as the club told his father, Neuer, on the phone this week, it would be more than happy to help with that. The La Liga leaders also released a video on their website, www.fcbarcelona.com, showing players, including record goal scorer Lionel Messi, signing the shirt. The statement added, Royer Borges has opened a crowdfunding site on go.fund.me to raise money for his son's medical expenses and the response has been wonderful. He has already received half a million dollars and Barca is helping by offering its own media to get the message out. Message out.